All right, well, what's up, guys? It's your favorite chef, Mr. Bosso, in the building. Um, so today I'm gonna be cooking the beef Rogan Josh style, blah 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 curry. It looks so weird. Like, why is curry red? Ah, shit. But all right, so I'm gonna try and cook it quickly. It says, shit, 35 to 40 minutes. I didn't want it. I'm gonna try it anyways. All right, so first things first. Let me just get the first things first. Let me get all the make sure all the ingredients are here. So ingredient number one, bell pepper. I have this in my fridge. They sent me this. All right, garlic clove, garlic clove right here. Ginger puree right there. Um, basmati rice right here. Beef mince right here. Uh, curry paste right here. This is a very dark curry paste. It's weird. Um, tomato pasta. Tomato passata. My, my apologies. Tomato passata. It's a weird word. Right there. Um, chicken stock right there. Greek yogurt right here. Chili flakes right here. All right, I don't need this. This is the extra garlic, so I'm gonna see how quickly I can do this. It says 35 to 40 minutes. I don't want to be shooting for so long, but let's go. All right, get prepped. Half the pepper. All right, so it's gonna be weird. Let me move the cutting board over here. So it's saying that I should cut up the pepper, peel and grate garlic, or use garlic press. Yeah, never ever grate the garlic or use garlic press and just cut it up normally. So ensure that you wash the thingy thing thing, the pepper. By the way, I'm not a chef, so feel free to leave comments and correct me wherever I'm going around. Um, I love learning and I like trying new things. So that's why I'm here right now. So cutting up the pepper. Hopefully the audio is good because I'm away from the camera. Cutting up the peppers. Peppers are being cut. Um, boom, boom, boom. I have a timer on. See if I can finish before 45 minutes. With the food still tasting good. Alright, so hold on. Let me just put a timer on my phone. Hey Google. Open timer. Alright, so I'm going to start the timer. Where is it? Stopwatch. Oh, stopwatch. All right, so um, gotta peel the garlic. Let's go. The race is on. I feel like I'm in the garden or I'm in the kitchen, trying to cook with confidence. Uh, all right, so I'm peeling three pegs of garlic. But the pegs are tiny, so um, heat a drizzle of hot oil and half the ginger puree in a medium saucepan with a tight fitting lid on. Sometimes these, these instructions can be so confusing. Um, am I supposed to half and Once hot, stir fry for one minute. So I'm gonna stir fry the ginger puree. Oh, I'm gonna add the garlic and the... let's figure it out. All right, so I'm gonna find a good place to put the recipe. All right, so that's that. All right, so I'm gonna use this pan. I'm gonna heat it. After heating it enough, add oil. But yeah, let me just heat it up for now because it's a bit wet. 
Alright, so heat a drizzle of oil and half the ginger puree in a medium saucepan with a tight fitting lid on medium high. Oh, so you're gonna cook ginger rice. Okay. Okay. Yo, I hate when them do this. Them, them tell you this in a weird way. Like, all you need to say is cook the rice with ginger in it. Yeah, that's all, yo. That's all, right? Like, it's not that deep. Alright, so let me turn down the frying pan. Pour some oil in it. A drizzle of oil that look like a little um a little hurricane still a tropical storm all right so next step now next step next step next step um rice so i'm not gonna do it the way they asked me to do it i'm just gonna add the, the rice how oh, my mother does it in jamaica she just add the rice to the pot and then Ah! Okay, so I don't know if I follow them. Alright, so add the rice. I have a little more rice in here, so I'm gonna add a little bit more rice. Then, because of my healthy diet, I had a little. Um, bulgur to it just a little bit. The oil smells like it's hot right now. So let me just add some pepper to that. Sweet pepper that is. Sweet pepper added. Cover that and just cook a little, turn it down on a low flame. I'm gonna chop up the garlic just because I'm not good at following instructions. But unruly basically, so I'm gonna just chop up garlic with my feel like chop up garlic. Ah, so alright, bam bam bam. Alright, so I'm gonna add the garlic to that obviously. The garlic is gonna go in this. Hope it's not too Alright, so multitask, multitask, add the water to the pot of rice. Alright, so I'm gonna rinse it one time. Alright, so that should be it for the rinsing. Alright, so this should be enough water. Take out a little, show it a little more. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so I just so hot. Alright, so ah. Alright, so for the rice now I just Add a little salt, so I'm not even following the instructions right now. Add a little salt. Um, let me say add half of the ginger puree. Oh my god, let me make sure I'm gonna read it here properly. Cook the ginger <laughs> rice. What the fuck? Ah. Alright, so I'm gonna add a little of this ginger rice. Okay, that probably is too much. But pray for me. Uh, Alright, so um turn it once it starts boiling I turn it down. Alright, it start we leave to cook for ten minutes, remove the pan, blah blah blah. Char the pepper while the rice cooks, heat the drizzle of oil and a large frying pan and high heat and so add a uh, sliced pepper. I'm confused. 
Um, so once I add the sliced pepper seasoning with salt and pepper, then stir for until charred and slightly softened. Stir every couple of minutes. Allow it to char on char, transfer to plate, pop your pan back on the medium. So I'm just gonna cook them. Okay. This is weird. Let's, let's do it. So I'm gonna add the rest of the, the ginger to the frying pan. Hopefully that was the right thing. Turn it up like a little. Um, like a medium heat. Yeah. I'm going to add all of the ginger. If it doesn't taste good, I just uh, zin. Alright, so stir it up a little. Yo, ow! Alright, so it's popping like popcorn. Alright, so let me get a plate. So I can put it in, remove some of the rubbish. Alright, so. so after that, let me check if this thing is good. Hopefully this is good. I'm yeah, kind of skeptic about it. Um, the ah, that feel hot. Alright, so just have to remove this. Remove these. Oh shit! What am I doing? Madness. Alright, so remove the sweet pepper. So after I remove the sweet pepper, now I'm going to add the beef, which I'm very skeptical about. But let me smell it. See if it's good. Ah! Shit. All right. So the ginger literally just a pop up like. Like, uh, like adds right now. Okay, get rough, but. Alright, so <laughs> put the pan on the stove. Once the pan is at, at the beef mince, fry until brown 5 to 6 minutes. Use a spoon to break it up as it cooks. Drain and discard the excess fat. Wash your hands and equipment after handling raw mince. It's cooked, but no longer pink in the middle. So, yeah, finish cook when it brown basically. Alright, some rice a boil over. So, mm -hmm. Turn it down a little, medium. Once it start boiling, medium flame. All right, so all right, so now focus on the mince now. Just make sure the mince is properly fried. All
All right, so the rice is being cooked. Look, the rice and the beef. Yeah, so I'm going to try to cook it until it, it's kind of... I'm just going to try to get rid of all of the pinkness. Make it as... Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. So after that now, I'm going to say if you have any excess oil, leave. You yeah, just drain that zine. But... I'm just gonna excess oil, so I'm just gonna move on to the next step. Alright, I'm gonna curry up, add the garlic, the, the Josh curry paste. The garlic never had already, I had garlic long time. And the remaining ginger pure, I done had that 10 years ago. Alright, so. Woyo, that's all my cancer right now. Woyo. Um, let me just. Make sure so the rice are cooked properly. Look alright. Flame no look bad at all. Um, so them set to add the curry. I'm gonna add the curry paste to the pot to the pot now. Um, keep cool down a little bit. Just a little bit. Probably have to add some more garlic. As them say garlic and we done the garlic. And then something else. Curry time now. This is what the curry looks like. Gotcha. Curry strong. You want the curry strong? Thick. I'm gonna make sure we get everything out of the package. Hopefully, that now set the pot. How much minutes am I gone already? I'm gonna check if the camera is still on the side. 20 minutes, that's crazy. That is crazy. Alright, so I'm seasoning, seasoning it up with the curry paste. Seems cool. Like the look, like how it smell. Turn on the rice pot, the rice look like it had dry. <laughs> Ginger rice. <laughs> hey! Boy! Trouble. Trouble. Alright, so. After adding the curry. Um, ginger puree, done, 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 oh, done, none of that now left, sorry, um, stir it together for four and then pour in the tomato pasta, 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 the tomato passata, alright, so I'm going to add some passata to the pot, you know, um, Passata, I do add some. Oh, that's why it's so red. Now it makes sense. So I'm setting up a sea punch here for a month. I don't know what that means. Can't bother with that. So I'm going to judge it based off of my expertise, which is 
practically nada. Alright, so it looks nice and now. And I think more of the more tomato passata. That's like oops. I'm just add a little water. So I'm gonna add a little water. With a wow. Wow. There's tomato everywhere now. Smells good. Smells good enough. Can't complain. Okay, from solo. That's so good. Mix it on burn. Alright, so let that go and cook a little bit. So after the passata, blah 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 blah, simmer till it thicken, once thicken, stir the charred peppers into the curry, taste it, add salt if, and pepper if needed. Yes, that's a very important thing. So let me just jump right into that. Because what happened with them food here is that them, them seasoning is very basic, so it's like if you don't add your little flavor into it, then your pot, your pot is going to be bland. So, in order to prevent that, let me just add some of my tropical sun seasoning. Um, added a little oregano and a little lamb seasoning. Hopefully that doesn't mess it up. Um, and I'm going to add a little all purpose as well. So that instead of like salt and black pepper, like You can still add salt and black pepper anyway. Add a little black pepper. Alright, that looks jiggy. Take toops of salt. I'm going to take my foot of salt in other eyes. So a little toops of salt. Toops. And then maybe stir it up again like Bob Marley. Stir it up. Ooh, darling. Stir it up. Alright, so I could have properly stirred. Properly stirred. Let me just add a little more all purpose. Oh shit. Could be careful because I'm just curry. Curry. So. Ah, uh, so uh, Alright, so after that, no shit. Let me taste it. Mm, this alright. I use a little more seasoning to the honest. Add some black pepper. And then maybe add some all purpose. Where's the all purpose? Back to the all purpose. Yeah, all purpose. I think it's a bit uh, fresh. So let's see if we got a little more. Alright, look like it's done, but we only have two on, so we're going with a little bit. I'm gonna add the charred sweet peppers. <laughs> but then shoot! Somebody send my mother the link here. Yeah. The partner looked too bad. Stills. Gotta add a little more sweet pepper, to be honest. Forget about the rest, you know. Forget about all of them other seasoning that I'm different to add to it. Throw up now with speed, guys. Throw speed. So the rice must be done. If it's not done, then I just suck. Um, so I'm so when I finish, I can add the yogurt and chili flakes. All right, we try that and see how that goes. But that weird for adding yogurt with curry and tomato and cheese. I'm going to try to run in my belly. 
last time man. I'm thinking that kind of shape is still. 24 minutes upon the timer guys, 24 minutes, 24 minutes. I'm gonna feel like I'm done already. I can lock up the spot now and everything good. Oh no, wait. So I forgot one important ingredient. Chicken stock. Marker. You see it go. So I did the chicken stock and I assume that I might have to add a little water to this. Because this chicken stock is a bit thick. So two cups of water. Turn the pot a little more. We can cook out. Basically done. I just the yogurt and the chili left off for the thing there. Off for the mini. Um, put this space in the fridge. And now I can paste. about to overeat so let me just wrap this up quickly all right so let me share all right so i'm gonna start diving all right here so i'm tasting and making a while going i'm gonna unbias um opinion wow all right so for one the beef is a bit salted I'm gonna look at easy on the seasoning. But I prefer that than it tastes too bland. The rice tastes good. The ginger is too strong. I like that. For me, the Greek yogurt is a word um, addition, but I'll try it and see how much it sends me to the bathroom. Um, chili flakes, nice. I'm gonna add it to everything, not just the yogurt. Yogurt, bro. you know, it's the bitter yogurt, so I just don't understand why is it in the meal. It's just that, like, I would eat the yogurt by itself. But why am I eating it with curry? Is it that I just well want to use the bathroom? Almost like I have forced myself to go to the bathroom. But the food tastes good, honestly. It's not bad. Um, we eat a 7 out of 10. It it nice. The reason why I get a 10 because my try to be unbiased. I like it. Compared to the other meals I've prepared, I, I must say this one isn't bad. Could I add more sweet pepper? I love sweet pepper. So yeah, big up Hello Fresh. Um, and yo, just make sure you leave a comment once you're watching this video. Please and thanks. <laughs> 